a very pleasant morning to everyone present in the session in my last presentation i briefed a small introduction about the chemistry the importance of the chemistry and the scope of the chemistry in this session we will going to discuss about a very small basics of uh, chemistry that is acid bases and salts so acids bases and salts you are aware we have already studied in the in your last class in your 10th that what is an acid what is a base and what is a salt again it is a small bridge i am making you to take you from 10th standard to the puc and these concepts are important in order to understand first puc and second puc concepts now acid first of all we will going to discuss about what is an acid acid acids are the substances which taste sour whose taste is sour taste puli irontattu they are called as acids now acids are the substances which taste sour taste so test secondly most of the scientists they scratched their heads and they discovered later like acid so the substances which also contains h plus ion the substances which containing hydrogen ion are also considered as acid so acids are containing h plus it is a old theory but still it exists so acid h plus which acids can helps in the catching of rust the help in catching or in helps in rusting helps rusting of iron helps the rusting of iron then acids how do you come to know it is acid i mean you take a litmus paper for example blue litmus paper when you dip blue litmus paper into acid it changes its color so blue litmus paper changes blue color to red color which one acid so there are generally two types of acids there are two types of acids they are strong acids and weak acids in the next coming theory in the four more sessions we will going to tell you about what is a strong acid and what is a weak acid now for time being we just understand few acids like very strong acid hydrochloric acid aqueous solution hydrochloric acid which is called as hcl hno3 which is called as nitric acid this is hydrochloric acid this is nitric acid sulfuric acid king of all the chemicals a very powerful acid sulfuric acid these are all considered as strong acid and weak acids weak acids are also there like uh, acetic acid it is a weak acid and many more acids are also there whose the for example hcl o oh, h this is also called as formic acid 
that is the acid present in the ant is called as this, this is the acid formic acid so other citric acid many acids are there so they are all called as acid few examples are also there for the acids like uh, fruits most of the fruits are acidic in the nature most of the fruits are acidic in the nature uh, for example acidic uh, fruits say uh, lemon grapes lemon grapes orange banana banana is also acidic many more many more acids are acidic in the nature so this is about the acids which are these are the example for the strong acid these are the example for the weak acid now we'll go for the bases now what exactly the base is come here next is bases Dhavi, he was the scientist. He first put forward the theory of acids and bases. He gave an idea of bases. Now, what are bases? They are also liquids. Bases are liquids. Now, base means bases are those substances which taste bitter andre kahi irontu it is called as a base those substances which taste bitter they are called as bases say then which component is present in the bases bases also contains oh minus it is called as hydroxyl ion this is called as hydroxyl ion it contains hydroxyl ion it contains hydroxyl ion bases should contain hydroxyl ion even some extent it also helps in the rusty then now very major observation what we can found was it changes red litmus paper to blue litmus paper changes red litmus paper to blue blue color again say there are strong bases as well as weak bases now it can I two types of bases we can observe strong base and weak base example for a small base popular example sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide are the stronger bases whereas weak bases are ammonium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide calcium hydroxide are the weak bases a um, very famous example weak base is ammonium hydroxide so these are all the acids and bases next we will go for the salt before we go for the salt let's understand how salt is formed salt is a new product obtained which when which when acid is treated with a base when equal equimolar or equal quantity of equal strengths of acid and bases are treated reacted there will be formation of salts like example for the reactions acid base reacts acid plus base gives you the product salt plus water salt plus water generalized example i can take first example i can take hcl and sodium hydroxide hcl is an acid whereas sodium hydroxide is a base sodium hydroxide is a base both react to form salts sodium 
chloride which is the table salt generally used in the household purpose for cooking this salt is used plus H2O it means so much reacted to form sodium chloride and this forms in the aqueous condition in the aqueous condition means this should be dissolved in the water this is also a solid peptide and this is liquid so this is acid base sign salt so salt is obtained when acid and base are reacted in the test tube and which gets settled down in the test tube which gets settled down in the test tube like this get precipitated generally we can call it is p p t precipitated we come to know what is p p t later on so this is the acid bases and the salts and the salts now i will show you a small example and one more example uh, here one more notice what we can make is you know phenolphthalein indicator when colorless base is one or two drop of base is added to phenolphthalein or when phenolphthalein is added to the bases it changes phenol thali indicator if it is a base it changes to pink color it changes to pink color just i will show you in my lab please come to me uh this is my lab class even i did some classes in the lab you just show the board show the board board and there i have written and this is my lab i have all the laboratory set up and each and every student will get a separate experiment here when we conduct laboratory that time we will explain you anyhow this topic is acid and bases and the salt formation uh see this is i have taken one test tube one test tube i have taken and this is hydrochloric acid you can see here this is hydrochloric acid hcl it is called as just i have shown you there in the uh, on the board you can i i will going to take out uh, so much amount of so much amount of uh, acid to this i will add sodium hydroxide a base this is called as a base sodium hydroxide to this i will add to this i will add sodium hydroxide equal quantity of sodium hydroxide you can see the reactions here you can see the reaction uh, once the reaction is done there will be you can carefully observe at the bottom you know salt get precipitated salt will get precipitated this is just a simple once i stand this for uh, half an hour or one hour maybe the salt will get precipitated sodium hydroxide get precipitated here clear this is the acid base reaction you observe effervescence effervescence comes out from the test tube we can still observe here the effervescence are coming out and it's going out so again this is i will keep it here now i will take base i will take this base this is sodium hydroxide and this is phenolphthalein indicator this is phenolphthalein indicator this is phenolphthalein indicator and this phenolphthalein indicator is indicates whether the given substance is acid or base if it is acid for example i will take here you know that i have taken a base well base is taken i will also take acid in the other this is base i will keep it here let me keep it here this is base this is base this is acid this is acid well acids or you know before i explain uh, one more one more, let me add one more thing when you touch this base this is the base when you touch this base you can find the slippery effect like a soapy feel you will get so bases are slopy in the nature where acids are are highly dangerous they are 
they can corrode or some blisters obtained on the screen, rashes obtained on the screen. It is highly dangerous. So let me, this is acid, this is base. Now first I will take the base. To this base I will add one or two drops of phenolphthalein indicator. If it changes, see definitely there will be change in the color uh, because chemistry is always a colorful substance, subject. You can, you can see here the change in the color. Oh, okay, a beautiful color you will get. Pink, such a mesmerizing color. Pink color. So this substance is a base whose color has been changed. When suppose if I add the same acid, uh, phenolphthalein indicator to this acid, suppose if I add here, there is no change in the you can see here. No change in the color. Color won't change. If color cannot change, then substance is acid. If color changes, it is a base. Clear? So this is just a practical uh, analysis whether the given substance is acid or a base. You keep themselves watch the video more and more times so that the concepts become clear. Okay? Thank you. We'll meet you in the next conversation. Thank you one and all.